Does a local school district have to pay for busing to transport students to non-public schools, even when the public schools are closed? To find out, you have to read The Matter of United Jewish Community of Blooming Grove versus Washingtonville School District, but it's 14 pages. Don't have time for that? I've got you covered. This is TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read, where I cover New York Court of Appeals cases, and I try to do it in five minutes or less. This is the episode on the case of Matter of United Jewish Community of Blooming Grove versus Washingtonville Central School District. The citation for this case is 2024, New York Slip Opinion 03377, uh, published by the Court of Appeals on June 20th of 2024. The issue in this case is whether a local school district has to pay for and provide busing for students in private religious schools on days public schools are closed. To understand and appreciate the context of this case, I think the background that's helpful to know is Education Law 36351A, which says the following. It says, sufficient transportation facilities, including the operation and maintenance of motor vehicles, shall be provided by the school district for all the children residing within the school district to and from the school they legally attend, they legally attend who are in need of such transportation because of the remoteness of the school to the child or for the promotion of the best interests of the children. Uh, with that background, what are the facts of this case? The facts are that the petitioner in this case, the person who brought the case, is the United Jewish Community of uh, Blooming Grove and a couple of individuals uh, who requested that Washingtonville School District provide school bus transportation to the children who attend non-public religious school on days the public school is closed. They specifically identified 20 days that they want to keep their school open when the, when the public school is closed. When the public school is closed, for example, the Christmas holiday. If it's a Jewish school, they don't they don't observe the Christmas holiday, so they would keep it open that week. For example, uh, the school district denied those requests based upon their policy that they don't provide transportation to non-public schools on days the school is closed. And the petitioners then sued uh, in the CPLR Article seventy eight proceeding um, and sought a declaratory judgment to force the school to provide the transportation. Uh, when it goes to the trial court here, the Supreme Court concluded that Education Law 36351A, what I just read to you before, required the school district to provide school bus service to non-public school students on all days that they're open. That's how they interpreted that statute. Uh, their schools are open, and the legislative history could not be used to counter the plain meaning of the statute. The court then granted the petitioner's application for this for the for the busing on days the schools are closed. The appellate division reversed. It goes to the appellate division and they reverse it. They say the district is not required to provide transportation. They say that that Education Law 36351A is ambiguous uh, and that the law permits but does not require that it provide it. Uh, and so they say this is not wrong for them to decide not to provide it. It goes to the Court of Appeals. And here, this is a really interesting case in the way that the Court of Appeals approaches it. Because basically they say, first of all, the answer to the question ultimately is no. They say that the school district does not have to provide it. But how they get there is they they do a deep dive on how do you understand and interpret a statute. They went through the legislative history. They went through the legislative, to the actual, parsed it word by word. They said that the phrase sufficient transportation, which is what the statute requires that they provide, is ambiguous. It could be interpreted in many ways. It could be interpreted to require transportation on each day the non-public schools are open, but it also could mean only on the days the public schools are open. So the, to refer to dictionary definitions of the word sufficient, they say that that basically means, according to Webster's Dictionary, adequate, which is equally uninformative. They go through the legislative history. They go through the fact that New York had a constitutional amendment uh, at one point prohibiting um, public funds to be going to private school uh, for any reason. Then they basically go through the fact that they say that because of the history, because of what happened here, because of the way that Education Law 3635 was was passed, they say that when the legislature, this is the holding here, when the legislature provides for transportation for non-public schools on days when the public schools are closed, it does so explicitly and with specific limitations. They even go through some laws that passed that allowed non-public schools to get uh, up to two days uh, specifically. Um, of transportation, even when schools are closed. And they say, therefore, it cannot be that the law requires all transportation on all the days when the schools are closed without limits. They say, uh, in this particular case, the limitations provided um, are sufficient, and the school district is well within its rights to say, no, we will not provide 
busing on days the regular public schools closed. Uh, in that case, if it was the alternative, then non-public schools could be open all summer. Well, who's to say they had to close during the summer? Who's to say they can't be open on Saturdays and Sundays when the regular schools are closed? And that would basically be an unfunded mandate that would impoverish uh, local school districts. Um, and they say if they want to do this, the legislature should do it, not the courts. And that's the case of Matter of United Jewish Community of Blooming Grove versus Washingtonville. Have a good day. If you like what you just saw and want to see more just like it, please hit like or subscribe to let me know.